What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to give you guys the full details and the latest patch for Destiny. But before we get into the video, can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content, be sure to subscribe. And if you could help this video out with a like, I do appreciate the support. Including in this latest update, we do get long-awaited buffs to the exotic weapons, the bad juju and fawn, and many other badass things. Now, I'm going to read you guys through the whole statement, but if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, I will link it in the video description also. Uh, but getting into it, uh, this is basically what they stated. Today's patch includes a long-awaited arrival of exotic weapon buffs, additional acquisition paths for destination upgrade materials, along with additional changes to exotic gear node upgrading in preparation for the soon to be released expansion, the dark below. We are also collecting issues induced by our more recent update to the raid. Uh, weapons and exotics. Exotic weapons are designed to look, feel and sound overpowered. At the same time, they are not supposed to break the balance of the game. We hope these weapons challenge the way players think about their loadouts. Exotics will be a constant work in progress. In preparation for the Dark Below, exotic armor and weapons no longer require ascendant materials to upgrade. That's crazy. The final upgrade node of all exotic gear will require an exotic shard. Exotic shards can be obtained by one of the following means. Dismantling unwanted exotics or purchase from Zer, costing 7 strange coins. Exotics now start at a higher base attack value and have a narrowed upgrade range to compensate. The Fawn, projectiles now briefly highlight targets on impact. Mark of the Devourer DLT damage over time, upgrade increased against PvE enemy targets. Reload speed increased, magazine size increased, ammo inventory size increased, stability and weapon handle increased. The fawn is going to be a beast! I'm so glad I kept mine. Uh, bad juju, magazine uh, size increased to 8 bursts, was 5 bursts. Uh, ammo inventory size increased. Sting of curses now also decreases the cooldown of your super on kill. Badass. Adjusted effects to not block first person reticle. You know it had all that green smoke uh, oozing off the front. A lot of people complained about how that blocked the reticle. That's been fixed. Now the hard light exotic. Uh, stability increased. Perfect balance upgrade replaced by fitted stock. Increases maximum possibility weapon stability. Uh, Seuss regime. Lower total damage at the end of the mag on Seuss regime upgrade to be more in line with the glass half full perk on legendary auto rifles. Now the Monte Carlo and at the moment this is a PS4 only weapon. Stability has been increased, range slightly decreased. Monte Carlo method upgrade now has the chance to fully charge melee ability on kill. The medium multi tool. Meter rounds now have increased knockback against targets in both PvE and PvP. The Hawk Moon, which is also a PS4 weapon only at the moment. Send the upgrade, which was redundant, replaced by speed reload. Red Death. Uh, rate of fire increased slightly but burst damage reduced to compensate that was the only problem I had with the red death if you guys remember my actual review of it is that the fire rate was too slow uh, plan C weapon handling speed increased player speed increased while plan C is in hand badass pocket infinity speed reload upgrade replaced by extended clip which allows the option to increase magazine size to 5 bursts badass Vex Mytho class, attack power increased to 323 from 300, I'm guessing this is PvE only. Base damage increased, fixing bug we introduced in previous patch. Enhanced battery upgrade by extended mag. This change still allows for a significant upgrade to the magazine size, but less than before. Um, I'm guessing they're taking it down from 54, 56 or whatever it was. Infective, speed reload increased significantly, auto fire slightly slower. Uh, Icebreaker, send the upgrade replaced by Lightweight, uh, which was redundant as Icebreaker already had maximum range. New effects for enemies killed by the Icebreaker upgrade, patience and time. Snapshot upgrade replaced by Custom Optics, provides a lower zoom option. Amazing. Uh, super good advice, stability has been increased, and truth, magazine size increased to 3 was 1. Amazing. Now we move on to activities and we have the raid. Fixed an issue we introduced in a previous patch in which Aethin did not correctly send free players through their time gates. Fixed an exploit where the Templar could be forced off its platform. Uh, the daily heroic story. Destination materials now drop from completing the daily heroic. 
amazing. I'm guessing if you're doing a daily heroic on Venus, you'll get blooms. On Cosmodron, you'll get spin metal and so forth. Bounties, remove the relic hunter bounty. Destination materials now drop from completing a daily patrol bounty. That's pretty badass too. Now the vendors. Reduced Cryptarch reputation gain from engrams, but reputation reward packages now have an increased chance for legendary engrams, that's quite good. Players will now be able to use Vanguard marks and Crucible marks to purchase Spin Metal, Relic Iron, Spirit Bloom and Helium Filaments from the Vanguard and Crucible Quartermasters in the tower, that's pretty badass also. Xur, the Agent of the Nine, now sells a new material, Exotic Shards to upgrade the final node of Exotics costing 7 strange coins. Faction class items are now replaced by faction emblems in the rank up reward packages from faction vendors. Uh, so basically when you ranked up your dead orbit so to speak, in the package you'll get from the postmaster there's a good chance there'll be a class item. Uh, that has been replaced now by an emblem. And the final part of this actual update is just technical networking fixes which should reduce the instance of the B family of TKOS. Fix an issue in which Xbox One party chat reduced a slower frame rate. Been waiting for that bad boy and a lot of people have been too. But guys, that is it. That's what we are getting in this latest patch, which should have been dropped by now for everybody. Uh, can't wait to try the bad juju and the fawn. It's going to be amazing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. Tell me your opinions on everything in this video if you can. Like I said, the full statement is in the video description as well if you want to check it out. But thanks for stopping by and peace out until next time. Peace. Available.